So today we're going to solve these two geometry questions and let me teach you all the different rules you need to solve it. So first for number one, what do I see? I'm trying to find this angle right here, which I'm just going to call angle A. To do that, I'm going to need to find angle B. And these two angles are the same because opposite sides have, are equal to opposite angles. So how do I get the value of B in this case? Basically, what I'm going to do is I know that this forms a straight line. All straight lines, you have to remember, sum up to 180. So 180 is just to get my value B plus this angle right here, 110. And to get B, I could just minus 110 on both sides. And 110s cancel out. Give me B is equal to 180 minus 110, which is 70. So this value right here is 70. So therefore, this value is 70 as well. And I have this triangle now. And all triangles, we have to remember, also sum up to 180. So 180 is equal to 70 plus 70 plus this angle, which I'm going to call C plus C. And then I could solve for C. Give me 180 is equal to 140 plus C minus 140 onto both sides. That finally leaves me with C is equal to 40 degrees. Now, I have 40 degrees right here, but how do I get the value of A? I see that this forms a 90 degree angle as marked right here. And that also means that because the two lines intersect, because this one's 90, the vertical angles are equal, so this one's also 90. So it gives me that A plus my angle right here, which is 40, is equal to this angle right here, which is 90. I can minus 40 on both sides. And finally, that leaves me with A is equal to 90 minus 40, which is 50. And that right there is going to be your answer for number one. Now, what about this question right here to get the value of X plus Y? Now, I'm just going to call this angle A and angle B, label these two. As I mentioned previously in question number one, what do all triangles sum up to? All triangles should sum up to 180 degrees. So 180 is going to be equal to A plus B plus 60. 1, 2, and 3. Now, I could just minus 60 on both sides just so I can simplify my life by giving 120 is equal to A plus B. Why is that important? Because as mentioned in problem number one, we have the rules about a straight angle. All straight angles sum up to how many degrees? They should always sum up to 180. So 180 is equal to this value 2x plus this value a. And over here, I have another straight angle. So 180 is also equal to 2y plus b. Now, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to combine both equations. So if I add these two equations up, so 180 is equal to 2y plus b, I add these two equations, I'm going to end up with 360, 180 plus 180, is equal to 2x plus 2y plus a plus b. Now, what do I do from here? I know that a plus b is equal to 120, so I could just minus a plus b onto both sides. And a plus b is just equal to the same thing as subtracting 120. 360 minus 120 will give me 240. So 240 is equal to a's, b's cancel out, 2x plus 2y. But that's not my answer because the question is asking for x plus y. So all I have to do is divide this equation by 2 because 2x divided by 2 will give me x, 2y divided by 2 will give me y. That's all equal to 240 divided by 2, because whatever I do on the right side, I have to do on the left side. And that's just equal to 240 divided by 2, which is 120. And that right there is your answer.